Good evening. I'm Dr. Mary Tobin, Chair of the Division of Nursing, and I welcome you to the 2022 Iowa Wesleyan Nursing Pinning Ceremony. Today, we welcome our 2022 graduates into the profession of nursing with a custom of a pinning ceremony. I want to thank, thank all who helped our graduates in this long and arduous journey to the BSN. Graduates, you are a class full of brilliant scholars. And I can speak for all of the faculty that we enjoyed helping you learn. And we certainly hope you stay in touch, colleagues. At this time, I welcome Paola Alcantara to the stage for the opening prayer. After the opening prayer, we will welcome President Christine Plunkett to the stage for the greeting. Please pray with me. Our Father God, how wonderful are the works of your hands. As we gather here today to celebrate a step forward into new places with new people and new experiences, let us not forget the blessings that follow behind us. For this university, which has given us a safe place to learn and a strong foundation to build upon as we take this next step into your world. For our professors, who have so richly loved and cared for us, even at our worst. For our family, who have cheered on us on the finish line and stood by our side through the many bumps in the road. And on this day especially, we thank you for the friends that we have found among us classmates for all the jokes that we will laugh about in years to come, for the hardships and tears we have endured together side by side, and for your love which has been made evident through the relationships we will carry with us beyond these walls. Give to me, Lord, strength for the selfless service, and enable me to give hope to those who I am called to serve. In your name we pray. Dignity and social justice. 
The definition of the word momentous says that it refers to a significant event or accomplishment, especially with regard to its bearing on the future. I can't think of a more fitting description for your accomplishments, as you'll be standing by the side of those in need for years into the future. So I extend my sincere congratulations on your momentous accomplishments. I know you will each wear your Iowa Wesleyan nursing pin with pride. I hope your pin will also serve as a reminder of the IW family of faculty and classmates and your own loved ones who stood by your side throughout your journey. Thank you again and congratulations. You have my very best wishes as you celebrate with your family and friends over the next several days. I would like next to call to the stage our speaker, Virginia Rufo. Hello, my name is Virginia Rufo, and I have the privilege of belonging to the senior cohort of nursing students of 2022. It has been an honor to learn alongside six incredible women who formed more than a cohort. Together, we became a community of lifelong learners dedicated to providing the utmost holistic care. Lovingly nicknamed the Spectacular Seven by Professor Kongewald, we truly embodied the meaning of teamwork and collaboration. In our class, we brought many talents, traits, and passions to the table, growing each other as we grew ourselves. Nadia taught us all to step out of our comfort zone and be confident in ourselves. Rachel used a calm demeanor and therapeutic manner to help us all improve our communication skills. Alana enlightened us on the, advocacy, the importance of advocacy for both us and our patients, as well as delivering adequate health care to every patient. Paola fortified our observation skills through her persistent attention to detail. Jackie brought a sense of humor and open-mindedness to the classroom and clinical setting that aided us all to become more holistic care providers. Lane was always willing to help her fellow classmate and teach us how to keep calm in the eye of a storm. Together, we built a team of nurses that will go on to provide amazing care. Whether in the classroom or the clinical setting, we chose to give our all to our patients 100% of the time. Not only did our class dedicate ourselves in the classroom and clinical settings, but we prioritized the health of our campus and surrounding community as well. Together, we hosted multiple blood drives, vaccine clinics, and even participated in 